Hello, 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 and welcome to the last Franbo episode of the night. We're going to... What's this? Hay Street? It says Hay Street. Then my house is in that direction. Wait, is it a good idea to be going to a literal murder house? And here we are. This looks much more gray than I remember, though. Well, I hope Aunt Grace will be happy to see me. Is this Grace's house? Because I doubt she's going to move back into a house that was murdered. Aunt Grace, hello? Maybe she's not home. Here, do you have a key to get inside? No, I don't have it, kitty. But I know there's one hidden somewhere. I just need to remember where. Let's find it. Well, there's only one thing touching the ground, so... Oh, a worm. Ooh, more worms. I took the key. Fran. Fran, that's me. But I haven't taken the key. And I didn't write that note. It's all so confusing. What should I do now? So I took the key. Well, there's this. Maybe I can climb up? Come here, kitty. You must climb through the window. I couldn't find the key. It seems I already took it. You already took the key, but you don't have it. That sounds very strange. Yes, very strange. I only found a note that I don't remember writing. But now, in order to get inside, kitty, you must climb up and open the door for me. Arr, alright then. Wish me luck. You can do it, kitty. Be careful. Am I gonna get to play as Mr. Midnight? Um... Did you get the door? You hear me? Kitty, open the door. Mr. Midnight. Uh-oh, that's the doctor. Hello, Doctor! Fran, I can't believe it. You're alive? Where were you? Uh, please don't take me back, Dr. Dern. I'm fine. Please don't take me back to the asylum. I've been looking for you for a long time. How did you escape? Through the yellow door? I think that was the front door. I escaped through the yellow door, sir. But why are you outside the house? Well, I don't have a key, but Mr. Midnight is inside right now. He climbed through the second floor window. Mr. Midnight, is that your missing cat? Yes, but we found each other again in the end. Sir, may I ask why you're here? I came to see Miss Grace. I have something very important to tell her. I think she's not home, sir. Well, it may be better this way. You'll have to come with me then. No, I'm not leaving Mr. Midnight again. At least let him open the door. Come on. Let's wait until he opens the door. And I don't believe your cat is in the house. That's impossible. I'm telling you the truth. He's inside. He'll open the door in a minute. Stop it, Fran. Face reality. Your cat is dead. You must come with me now. No, because the last time I was in reality, you forced a bunch of pills down my throat. And now you're kidnapping me, of course. Wait, is it kidnapping if he's an asylum worker? Let me guess, Mr. Midnight's now going to get the door open. Oh! The Vulcus and the light things. So, um... How are you, Dr. Dern? I'm sorry, friend. I didn't want to hurt... I don't want to hurt you or scare you. I'm just worried about Mr. Midnight, sir. You made me leave him. Is he really alive? Of course he is, sir. Why would I lie about this? This feels so wrong. No, friend, I was fired from the asylum because I knew too much. What? Um, I don't really like where this is going anymore. He just said he was fired. Where is he taking me? I found things I don't understand yet. I really thought you were dead. Look at these documents. Hmm. Family murder on Hayes Street. The bodies were perfectly sliced. Martin and Lucia Bo Dagenhart were found. Okay. I'm not going to read all of it, actually. That hasn't stopped me before. Why not? Okay. 
were brutally murdered in their residence on Hayes Street, the investigating police officer, Marco Holma, excuse me, said the bodies were perfectly sliced, which would cause a quick, instantaneous... <clears throat> Sorry, I just ate some pizza, so that, uh, reheated pizza, I should say. This, that grease is trying to take me down. Uh... Okay. Also, there were no... Oh yeah, the death would have been instantaneous. There were no signs of struggle in the house, so the victims must have been caught completely by surprise and were unable to fight back. The police interrogated Grace Dagenhart, Lucia's twin sister, but the police didn't... F oh, well, what do you know? The husband and wife must have taken the same name. Is twin sister. I guess that's why they look so similar, but I don't know. Something feels wrong about that, and I don't know why. They were only able to fight back. The police interrogation Grace Dagenhart, Lucius Tin Win sister, but the police didn't find any useful information. The youngest in the family, Franbo, was found in the woods one day after her parents' murder. <laughs> what? It uh, um, it says I froze to death. Dear Gladys, let the newspaper. Wait, they faked my death? Let the newspaper know that Fran Bo was found in the woods, frozen to death. She ran away from home after finding her parents' murder. Beloved, and that's my will, I, or testament, or whatever it is. Fran is now free from all pain. Oh, hey, Lego Star Wars. Oops, I just spoiled the game that I'm going to play next. Uh, sorry, but I hope you're going to enjoy that. It was on discount for the Black Friday deal by, like, it's like a $60 game that's on there for, like, well, the cheapest was for, like, 15 bucks, but I got it for 20 for some extra stuff, so we, we hope you reunite with your family in heaven. I'm not really the biggest fan knowing that they faked my death. Hmm, but I'm not dead, sir. This is all lies. I see that. I also found about your medicine found out that your medicine was switched. You were given a variant of duotine. How was it switched? It's on the bottle. When I looked at it in the laboratory, the levels of ectoplamatin were too high. That can't be good. Some echo blah, 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 creates a door between the consciousness and the subconscious mind. The problem is the echo is too high. The door will open too wide, and that can create great confusion in your brain. A great confusion in my brain. I am a bit confused, yes, but that's because of all the new things that I can see and feel. What do you mean, Fran? I can see the ultra reality, sir, and also travel to other worlds. Ultra reality. That must be an effect of the duotin, nothing more. That's not true. If I had some more medicine, I could show you. You don't need that medicine anymore. Besides, it's all in your head, Fran. All in my head, you say. Then I may be able to control it? I mean, that you're imagining things, that's all. <clears throat> I tried to tell my mother the truth, but father would harm her as well. I don't want my father playing with his knife again. My arm hurts. Oh, did your father hurt you with his knife, Doctor? But who told you that? You did. Or didn't you, sir? I haven't said anything about it. Oh my goodness, then it is true. Oh, please, let's focus. But you're not listening to me, sir. We need to find out the truth. I wonder who's behind all this. The nurses, Oswald? Oswald? Who's Oswald? Oh wait, was that the guard? Who knows? I do, sir. It's a big black monster, Remor. He took my parents and now he's hunting me. He wants me dead. Oh, I wish I stayed in Ithersta with Palantris and the Great Wizard. What are you talking about? Please, Fran, I'm serious. I never said goodbye to it were Platonis. Palantris. And my kitty is alone. Palantris, it were, please, Fran. Palantris is the doctor of Ithersta. He's a flying creature. He's very fluffy. And it were is my faithful friend. He brought me home with his machine. Seems you've been living inside a fairy tale. It wasn't good all the time, sir. The twins are gone because of me. I saw myself killing Mr. Midnight, and I saw mother and father, too. 
The twins? What twins? The girls who were attached to each other. Attached, you say? That reminds me of Clara and Mia's case. That's actually their name. Two girls in the asylum who claim to see creatures named Edward or something. Edward. I think you're misunderstanding them, sir. It's Itward. How are you, are you really that stupid? They have it painted on the wall. Wait, that was the ultra reality, wasn't it? Nope. Well, what happened to those girls? Dr. Oswald was experimenting on them. He sewn them together. Wait, who's Dr. Oswald? I'm getting... You know, I thought this game was going to be answering questions as it goes on, but it's just making more. He sewed them together. Mostly to see the reaction of the DNA, but nothing happened. A few months later, they died, and their bodies were thrown into a well. Back up, back up, back up. That's not true. I saw them sewn up in the first, I think in the first episode. Actually, no, I think it might have been the second one, because I took so long to get out of the institution. A few months later, they died, and their bodies were thrown into a well. That's awful, sir. You can't take me back to the asylum. Don't worry, I won't. I brought you with me so you can help me. Maybe we can find something that will lead us to those responsible for this disgrace. Thank you, doctor. Maybe Pelantris was right about you. You're not a bad doctor. You're just an old man following the rules. Following the rules? Well, not tonight. Huh. Here we are. And, uh... Looks like you put me into a graveyard, Dr. Dern. But this is a cemetery, sir. What are we doing here? You'll see. Come on, follow me. I don't really want to. Can I get out? Oh. A bingo. A crowbar. I hope the doctor doesn't mind if I take it. Sweet. Batteries? Oh. That's just all that stuff. Hmm. Hmm. Step. No. Oh, I have a knife still. Let me stab something. Hmm. Fine. Okay, so I guess we go back through here. You know what? I haven't saved yet. I'm gonna do that really quick. Or oh, never mind. This is where your parents' resting place. And also yours. This is... Wait. They were told I froze to death, but then, uh... Do they not have my body? Yeah, I don't really want to see my dead parents, you know? I didn't want to see this, sir. I'm sorry, friend, but things are how they are. Your parents were killed. Knowing who killed them can help us make things right. What do you mean? By right. I mean, if we can find the guilty one, we will have justice. Use the law to punish such behavior and prevent others from being harmed. I understand, sir. And what do you need my help with? To find clues and evidence. We need to f open the coffins. Hmm. All right. I'll help. Maybe the deedle worms came along. Who? Anyway, we have to find shovels to dig. I'll go left, you go right. I'll see you right here in a few minutes, alright? Yes, Dr. Dern, I'll see you soon. Why do I have the feeling that whenever we actually dig up the graves, we're gonna find my body down there? I don't like the thought about what we're gonna do here. Let me guess, gotta bust this thing open. No? Shh, you have to keep it down, Fabio. Hey, one of you guys. Oh, but I'm not Fabio, I'm Fran. Hello, little pinecone. What? Oh my goodness, a giant? Don't be scared, little pinecone. I won't harm you. I thought no giants could see us. I have big eyes. I think I can see you because I have very big eyes, you see? Ah, I see. I'm Sebastian. By the way, the tribe's collector. Collector, you say? Well, that sounds exciting. 
And now we're trying to find shiny leather. We need it for the the mating ritual. And I think she grabbed onto the wrong part there. I, uh, uh, I, you know what? I'm not gonna ask about uh, the kinks of pine cone people. Uh, that's that's all on them. Well, that's quite interesting. Shiny leather. Hmm? Yes, last year we used old human skin, but the deedle worms wanted it back. So we're looking for something more synthetic. Well, I hope you find that leather. Hmm, Sebastian, would you do me a favor? Depends on the favor, giant miss. I was thinking you could open the door for me from the inside. I could do that, or we could help each other out instead. Bring me a piece of leather and I'll open the door. Alright? But whatever will I find, huh? Okay, I already know what to do. I already tried it. It didn't let me do it. Okay, I'm glad he didn't actually come into, like, this area. So how much leather do I need? Hmm, okay. That's probably enough. <laughs> Ooh, excuse me. But anyway... Some good pizza. Also, I got my, uh... I just buy candles. I still have those matches. Oh. Memorial. 27% of people got this. Well, wow, that's pretty cool. Alright, Mr. Pint. Oh, the strawberries. I want the strawberries. Wait, oh, I can't touch it. What is this, then? No name, no flowers. Maybe nobody is down there. But nobody likes to be dead, so that's great. I think nobody wishes to be dead. <laughs> After everything, and, uh, never mind. Here you go, Mr. Pinecone. Wow, well, thank you, Giant Miss. Our tribe, the Pine Zelons, the Pine Zealous, the Pine Zealous will be happy. And now I'll open the door just a second. Oh, so you're alright, Sebastian? Sebastian? I'm... I'm alright, miss. Yes. Good. Well, thank you. You opened the door. You're welcome, giant miss. Uh, Fabio. Fabio! Oh, I have to go, miss. Good night. Fabio, wait for me. I have the leather. That was... interesting. There's nothing in here I can use. Okay. Well... Hmm. Is there like... Of course. Doctor? Anything you can... Oh, you found something. I found a pair of shovels. Good, let's dig. I better not dig up my own body here. Oh. Well, now we have to find something to open the coffins with. They're stuck. I had a crowbar in my car, just in case, but I couldn't find it. Oh, I took the crowbar, sir. I needed it to open a door. Do you want it back? No need, friend, but you can do the honors of open. My goodness, man, are you a lunatic? I'll try this grave. Oh, I have to. Okay, well, let's open. Um? Miss... Midnight? I'll name you Albert. Yep, that's her dead mother. You're so skinny. A bit too skinny, I would say. But I guess you'd take that as a compliment, wouldn't you? Is the bed comfortable? Well, sweet dreams, Molly. I have the feeling this last one's gonna be horrifying. Oh, no, okay. So... Did they just decide to put a cat in there? Like, they could've just put, you know... Nothing in there? My goodness, Father. The deedle worms took your eyes. I wish you could talk and tell me who took you away from me. Was it the big red monster daddy? Oh, my goodness, Father. Oh. Oh, yeah, that is three. So, um... Do you see anything that could bring us closer to the killer? No, sir, just some really bad feeling doing this. Seeing my parents like that. Also, the dead cat isn't my cat. They're lying. Fran, I told you your cat was missing, and maybe this one is actually your cat. Can't be, sir. I did find my kitty. 
You have to believe me. Take me home and I'll show you, please. All right, Fran, I'll take you back home. I'll take care of this later. I still need to find some clues. Thank you, sir. Let's go. Are we just gonna leave the graves completely wide open? So you're gonna be mad about the leather? Oh, hey, Remora. Vanish into the lands of darkness. The hands of darkness. You have no manners. I'm not afraid of you anymore. I've taken away from you the light. The one you love, the one you respect, and the one you desire to love you. Mr. Midnight? Up. Oh, that doesn't look good. The game's fully installed. You, broken little girl. Oh, there's Remora. The House of Madness invites you inside. I'd rather not go inside. Oh, oh well. If you want to find those you love, in darkness you must wake up. Wake up now, Fran. Wake up. House of Madness. Am I going to be put back into the asylum? Oh, no. I'm at home. And I'm chained up? Aunt Grace, is that you? My darling, you finally woke up. You're at home, my dear. Am I? Really? That's incredible. So happy to see you. Please give me a hug. Soon, my darling. And where's Mr. Midnight? Your cat? Well, you know. He ran away after what we did. What? He ran away? But what did we do to him? Well, your cat killed my sister and your father. He's a traitor. What? Huh? It's not true. It can't be true. He didn't do it. Doesn't matter if it's true or not. In the end, we must have something to blame, right? You can't blame Mr. Midnight. He's my friend. Yeah, why out of everyone would I blame a cat? But it's easier to blame somebody else than taking responsibility, isn't it? I will always take responsibility for my actions, even if they're not so good. What a good girl. Rest now, my darling. You need it. But Aunt Grace, don't leave me. Why am I chained to the bed? Because you, your hands do bad things when they're untied. What are you talking about? Uncuff me now. I have to go find Mr. Midnight. Little, little... Little, little shining friend, don't you worry about the lies. The seeker of truth will always die because the evil will never hide. Little, little shining friend, go to bed and sleep tight. And forget the pain inside your mind. You were selected to suffer and to cry and hate. But the darkness wants to free you from all disgrace. Sleep tight, my darling friend. <sighs> oh. Oh no, don't leave me here, Aunt Grace. Come back, please. Why is she acting so strange? Why blame Mr. Midnight? Kitty couldn't kill my parents. His claws are so tiny and soft. Ruby's okay, but what should I do now? Tick tock, tick tock, crazy sound, it never stops. It word. No, that's just me. Now I think about it, the clockmaker said that time is a layered reality. Maybe there's another version of me in this room another time. Or am I just imagining things? But if it's true, how could I make contact with her? Dr. Dern said that everything is in my head. Huh. Okay, um... I wish Mr. Midnight would come through the window to save me. Lovely kitty. I love these pictures. <laughs> I painted this one. It's Kitty and me. We're lying on the grass and looking up at the sky. And then, and I'm singing songs to Mr. Midnight, too. The thing changed. Time for my... And the wind took all the magical dust away. This is the asylum. Hello, what are you doing on my bed? Are you sick? Is that another Fran? 
your bed. This is my bed. No, I'm not sick. But you're chained up. Are you a dog? Wait, do I know you? I'm not a dog, and yes, I'm chained. Can you unlock me? Oh, you're myself. You really are. You think so? Then this means I've managed to enter the Ultra Reality. Did you meet Itward already? He's always talking about that. Yes, I met him already, but I haven't seen him since the crash. You crashed? That means you were broken. I'm not broken. Why would you say that? Think about it. The only way to cross into the Ultra Reality is to break the eyes, to break the ears, break the physical limitations. That sounds extreme. You think I'm dead? No, not at all. They told me that to die is just a mental state. They, who are they? All the creatures that we can see. The black ones, the white ones. Do you know why we can see these things? Yes, a man called Leon came to visit once and told me everything. Oh, can you tell me then? Why we see the things we do? What if I help you unlock the handcuffs first, then we talk? Good idea. Also need to find Mr. Midnight. I think he's in danger. Aunt Grace blames him for the death of her parents. Oh. Who's Mr. Midnight? What? That's our kitty, our best friend. I don't have a cat. I guess that's the difference between us. Anyway, let me see if I can unlock her chains. So happens I'm a key collector. I'll be right back. Oh, I'm playing as the other friend now. The door is closed. Hey, there's my old friend. Oh, my yellow dress. It's pretty. Ah, uh, that jacket. I always must put... I always must put on the jacket to go outside. Can't even play, then. It's quite useless. I try not to grow up too much so I can use it forever. But if I grow up, I can use it as a shirt. Did you do bad things? Oh, my keys. Is that Edward? I don't care. It's... It, hey, it's Palantras. I drew this after my journey with Edward and Palantras. I think Palantras is fun. I mean, it smells like bubblegum. Ooh. And Edward likes to play all day long. I drew this with my journey. So, she traveled with Edward and Palantras. That's interesting. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. A bunch of clothes on the ground, too. This shirt is angry with me. These are pants. They can not, they can be used by creatures with two legs. The blue scarf from winter time. What is it doing here? It's not winter. I picked it up some other time. And these toys. These big teddy bears want that eat big, big monsters. Hello, oh, Dr. Oswald. Oh wait, that was Oswald Asylum, wasn't it? Hmm. Okay, so, uh, let's see which one works. Ah. Uh, this, oh, I gotta actually, okay. Boom. Yeah. Boom. I missed. Boom. Hey. I helped you out, friend. Me. Fran help Fran. It's a Fran help Fran world, you know? Thank you so very much, Fran. <laughs> you really have a lot of keys in there. Yes, don't you? Oh, Fran, before I forget, Palantras told me that if we ever met someday, I should give this to you. Here, I think this will help you open something. The little golden box was given to a having a hard time. All the screaming and the boogers were driving me mad. I press it in my ear first, twice. What? Okay. The little golden box was having a hard time. All the screaming and the boogers were driving me mad. I press it by the ears first, twice to the left, once to the right. I rub its eye only two times to see if it has tears. This time, I take him once by the left ear, and scream. Stop whining, you little golden box. Press your eye again and open the door. Palantras, you know him too? Wow, thank you. Yes, he also told me that if we met, you'd be ready for what's about to come up. Ready for what? Tell me. 
Oh, no, I can't now. She's coming. Be quiet. Oh, hey, it's, uh, come on, friend, you must see the doctor now. All right. No, little friend. We have stuff to talk about. The nurse is bad, bad, bad nurse. She was the one lying to the newspaper about me. Anyway, I must find the monster. I'm sure he took Mr. Midnight. But nobody can take my kitty away from me. Nobody. Wait, that's the curtain that was open. That means Grace got Midnight. Okay. Regular scarf. Balloons. Cool. Shoes. Oh, the dancing thing. Yeah, the great dancer. Yeah, okay, a doll. Sleeping bag. What's this? Um, who is that? There's a Mr. Midnight toy in Fran. Then a girl? I don't know. Perhaps it's Alice from the Alice in Wonderland. Oh. It's Alice from school. She tells me stories about the wonderful land she visits sometimes. Yes. <laughs> You're kidding me. I actually guessed it right off of a joke. <laughs> uh, a hat. This looks different. Uh, oh, lovely peach dress for Sunday. The coat when it's windy and cold. Summer dress has a big button. That one's kind of pocket. <coughs> Excuse me. What's that? Antonio? Imagine. I love this comic. I like the part where the aliens take the girl to another planet. It's always nice to see new places, like a Thursday. Okay, well, um... Golden box. It's ears. Okay, let me read that thing again. Actually, I'm going to take a picture of that page. So I can... Actually, like, use it. Okay, so now we need to hit this one. Okay, so little gold box is having a time, all the screaming and the boogers driving me mad. I press it by the ears first. First, twice to the left. Oh. First, twice. Oh, twice to the left. One to the right. And then I rub its only eye two times to see if it has ears. Two. I take him once by the left ear. Screen. Stop whining, you little golden box. Press your eye again and open the door. Hey, it opened. The master. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I am. All right, what is that? The the ecog clock and a oh tacky. Do I have to like combine? Oh, I can... that's cool. Unique. Oh, the door. Cool. This doesn't look right. Hello, big giant eye. What a big eye. What are you looking at? A knife? Fair enough. 
Okay, I got a square key. Maybe I can get this one? Do I have to like... Okay. No. Okay, I guess I'll use this key on this one. Finally, there we go. Hey, it was jagged. Inside the little house. Oh, there's a little message in the pocket. The little house? Oh, I see. Do I? There's a skeleton with a key. I don't think that's appropriate, miss. I'm sorry, but I need this key. There are many doors I wish to unlock. Tell your friend to be nice and open his mouth. He won't. He never does. Besides, his teeth are reinforced. It would be hard to get that keyed out without his permission. Reinforced teeth. I see. I'll see what I can do to get the key then. Who are you, if I may ask? I'm Fran. Fran Bo Dagonard. Nice to meet you, Fran. I'm Roberto. Welcome to Mabuka's den. Mabu Mother Mabuka. Who is Mabuka? You don't know who Mabuka is? If you don't, leave now. Just leave. But Roberto, sir, I haven't been here before. Don't judge me for not knowing. Tell me who Mabuka is instead, I know. Okay, okay. Mabuka is the mother of darkness. Does that mean she's the mother of Ramora? The darkest darkness. The obscurity of the end of light. Mabuka is the mother of all creatures from the fifth reality. What? Am I in the fifth reality? I thought Ramora was king here. Ramora, the terrible black. The son of darkness. Nobody likes him too much. You should go now. I've said enough. Alright, I'll be back later. Anyway, I must get your friend's key. Now there's a key there? No. Okay. Lovely. Well, there's Edward's hat. Maybe he forgot his head. <laughs> Maybe the hat forgot his head. Okay. Anyway, what are we doing over... I'm sorry for interrupting you, friend. Hmm. I bet there's a... I bet there's gonna be some weird trippy thing where I come out over there. I think uh, a rose on the ground. Can't touch it. I guess I'll talk to you. I'm not done, mother. I'll take another bath after this one, because I stink. I'm not your mother. Bye. Ooh, the soap. Does the sound of my heart disturb you? It could stop all of a sudden, and that would be the end. I just want the soap. I don't like things about my heartbeat. I just want the soap. Soap? Are you having trouble with your hygiene? Terrible problems. Like my guy. You have no idea. I smell like my flesh is all rotten inside. But that sounds delicious. I don't think that would be a problem. Maybe for you. Just let me have the soap for a little while. Alright, then take it. It's yours. Thank you. Be careful with that. With the... Be... But be careful with the hijackers. They love children that smell like soap. What? They eat their baby bodies and keep their heads, their beautiful baby faces. Sounds terrible. I'll be careful. Thank you for the soap. My goodness. That was... Weird, to say the very least. Well, Soap will probably get that key out all nice and spit. Clever enough to... Mm -hmm. Bye. Is the Soap really not the option? Okay. Do you feel pain? Sir, do creepy things like you feel pain? Pain is the opposite of welfare, that's all. Maybe where welfare to do is to bleed until my blood dries up. And pain can be the crystalline laugh of a child. So yes, I feel pain. I see, well, well if you feel pain, this might work. No? Okay. Hmm. Huh. Soap in the eye? Negative. Okay, that doesn't work. 
something through here. Uh, the clock. The cuckoo clock. The cuckoo clock tells time differently. If you stand to one side, you will never grow up. Oh, there's a picture there. Hey, it's a thought of Mr. Midnight. I love this picture. Mr. Midnight, he looks so confused. He's cute. I mean, I ate peanut butter and jelly sandwiches that day. I think Mr. Midnight ate a bunch of insects. Cool. Oh, in the dollhouse. Hmm. Don't really know what I'm supposed to be looking for here. Pinecone man. What? Not just that room. Oh. Oh, I see you. Knife. Oh, my key. Smart. Did you just blink? You blink or I'm going insane. I don't quite think I'm going insane yet. Maybe. I'm I'm not sure. I honestly have no idea. Like this game is really pushing perceptives here. Yeah, I haven't saved in a long while, huh? <laughs> I think I was gonna do that last episode and then I just straight up forgot. What was that this episode? That was this episode. Okay, well, I'm going to end it here. Then I'll make another episode. Why not? See you then.